I want to talk about the gestation period of content creation to, to make videos that go viral online. Um, I got a 4.5 million views last month online on my other YouTube channel and on Facebook. Uh, I'm about I'm I'm gonna be driving, so I won't be looking at you. But listen to me, please, if if you want to know about this. So, um, when you create content and tell stories, this is um interesting. Now, there's a rule in like kind of public speaking in the presenter type of world that is not so talked about is you can't talk about a problem. That you're, going, sorry, that you're going through or you've recently come out of because there might be a little bit of a negative emotion attached to it um, as far as how you communicate it. There might even be a little bit of a victim mode in there. People can feel that vibration whether they can articulate it or not. So if you talk about a problem you went through, you can only talk about it after you've already gone through the problem. It was like a, a while back and you've elevated through the four stages of enlightenment, which I'll talk about in a different video, but to the point where you've reaped all the benefit from that lesson. You're no longer emotionally attached to it in a negative way. You're now fond of it. You've learned from it. You've grown out of it. And now you can look back at that problem from multiple angles in the past or through multiple paradigms and talk about it and even dip into it consciously to experience the motion, but dip right back out or come back out of it, not from a traumatized perspective, but from an enlightened perspective, and dip in and out, step your foot in and out of these, and talk about these lessons with other people who might be currently going through these same things right now, because there's lessons that you haven't even gone through yet that people have gone through years ago. I mean, we all go through different things at different times in our lives, so that's why it's um, interesting about creating videos online. But if you are going to tell a story about something and you want to tell a story that's uh, hyper vulnerable and emotional, it's a story about something that you went through, you can use the, the story arc of The Hero's Two Journeys by Michael Hagg and Hollywood screenwriters story stuff about um, that's a whole nother video. But basically, you can go through this kind of whole journey of, of struggle and pain to it getting worse to finally triumphing and finally getting overcoming this hard thing in your life and then achieving victory or telling a story about somebody else who has. That's one of the many different stories that you can tell. But when you tell the story about something that happened in your life, it's like, hey, today I'm successful. I make a million dollars a year. And you might be looking at me and say, why should you listen to me? I mean, who cares if I make a million bucks a year, but I wanna tell you it wasn't always this way. Five short years ago, I was you know, trapped living in a tuna can and I was going through all this hell and, and all I wanted to do is, and all I dreamed about was getting to where I'm at today and I never thought it was possible to get to where I'm at today. And um, I even broke out crying and I gave up one time. I even stood on the edge of a bridge and wanted to jump off all these things. And then all of a sudden, there were in, in, the, in the final moment, in my darkest period, there was this glimmer of hope that came through and shined a light. And I, and I, I realized the answer. I met an old wise man or somebody who gave me the answer that was that little, that pinhole of light or that, or that, where everything came around the corner, whatever that thing is, dude, I'm digressing. But when you talk about that, and then one thing led to another, then this amazing thing I made happen, and I learned, oh my God, this is, wasn't as bad as I thought it was because I have this on my side. I have this faith. I have this courage. I had this, anyways, believing in yourself. And, and, and one thing leads to another, and now you are achieving success. But there has to be a defining moment that turns the corner where you go, Yes, like you achieved the thing. You, you finally stood up here for yourself. Or you, I gave you a million examples. When you talk about this from an enlightenment perspective in a way with that's radical, it's vulnerable, it's emotional, it's dramatic, it's intense. It could be on the feminine, encouraging side, or it could be on the hyper-masculine type of challenging side many ways you could approach this as long as you're in your heart of hearts and your truest form of being basically these types of videos can be literally just you talking into your phone and they can go viral because you're taking somebody on a journey you know you can have you can have 
oh, fifty thousand dollar cameras. Oh, excuse me, and fifty thousand dollar cameras and a professional videographer and cinematic music and all that shit. And if your if your story sucks, if it's not compelling and not emotional, it's not something can people can relate to. It's going to be hard. So one kind of a tip here is take that thing that you're afraid of about yourself. If you can't fix it, feature it. If there's something that you're insecure about, uh, one thing I have, uh, it's weird that I don't really do it a lot in the videos, but I have Tourette's. So I'm, I'm blinking and I do weird things with my throat and my eyes and I, I'm just a, a very, it's an embarrassing thing. That I don't even know how my wife looks past it and everybody knows that I do it. And people, when I actually just left a family event just now, my wife's sister's birthday party and there was like 35 people there and I, I think I'm aware because I'm like inside of my own self but I've been told by people like when I walk into a place everybody notices me and they immediately think I'm fucking weird um, because I'm a weird twitchy guy I, I'm like so I'm, I'm like uh, I'm anti-social I'm I'm like that like my my I'm, I just it's like I don't trust people. I not that I don't like people. And I've heard people, why is he blinking like that? What, what, and I'm like, I'm just me, right? But so use that to your advantage. If you're a super quiet person, you don't like being around a lot of people, use it to your advantage. Whatever that thing you have that you're ashamed of or feel weird about, like me, it's me. I'm my blinking. <laughs> Fuck it. You know one thing my brother-in-law told me one time. He, I was telling him I was making all these videos on social media. He's a super cool guy. I said, yeah, man, but I blink all the time. He goes, but dude, that could be your thing. I'm like, what do you mean? Are you making fun of me? He's like, no, I'm serious. But I could feel that he was serious in that moment. And he was really supporting me. But he was, he was just objectifying the fact that that really could be my thing. I was like, oh my God. If you don't look at it, if you're just authentically yourself, okay, I'm parked now. That could be your thing. Like imagine if you, someone only has one arm, but they're crushing it on social media. That could be their thing. You know what I'm saying?